Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm down in my cave, fly time cave again. Uh, due to the fact my wife wants to have a guest room upstairs, so yeah, not bad. Uh, I kind of enjoy it here. And today we're going to tie a, a really interesting salmon fly called Britannia. I never tied it before, so this is the first time I'm doing it. So hopefully it's going to uh, turn out well. I haven't tied flies in Oof, almost two months, I think. So, enough about that. Let's begin. So I prepared the hook uh, with the gift and also winded um, uh, down the thread uh, to where I can start. So first of all, uh, gold tinsel in the back. So I'm just tying it in here. There we are. I got my dog with me. We hear a lot of strange things. Nobody answer. So, let me wind this gold tinsel in. It's stated plenty in the tying description, so I'm going to use plenty. Just tying the tinsel in, securing it with a few wraps of thread. So just cutting the leftovers and done. There we go. Okay, so next step are the tail. So here we have a tail I prepared earlier. Sorry about that. I want it to be spot on. Tool. I'm going to try to bend that one a little bit downwards. There we are. Okay, so let's continue then, uh, ostrich shell uh, after that one. So let me cut one. Going backwards with the thread. Then I need to add some wax, of course. And then 
we have the ostrich head so I'm adding it in on the other side there we are some wax again I have wax on the thread when I'm securing the ostrich hand and uh, since it's uh, Saturday, cheers! So... Adding a few wraps of this ostrich hand then. Sufficient. So going backwards with the thread, tying it in. And there we are. Cutting the leftovers. So let's have a look. You ready to see flat gold? So I adding the tin cell. First, some more bags, of course. A little bit, not too much. Easily secured. Hello, doggy. So my dog is looking at me and thinking, "Hey, crazy one, I'm hungry." So of course he's hungry. He's a dog. But he has to wait. So time then for. Let me see. No. Perfect. So now for the hackle, we just need to look at the pattern from time to time since I haven't tied this one before. First try. Add some more silver. Trying to add plenty. I'm gonna brush it out a bit as well.
So it takes a while to add all this uh, silver. But no stress. the last orange in fire as well. the shovel duck and then the heckle is actually gonna be in front of everything and then the head so let me see just need to brush it out a bit Fishy fly. And there we are. Body is done. Tinsel. Quite a large hook. Securing it and then cutting the leftovers off. There we are. So, just gonna brush a little bit still. You know, I want the fibers to be out there doing their thing. Good, and then it's time for the shoulder. So let me see if we actually can pull this off. The less components in a salmon fly, the more important is the, fit so to say and you need to make sure it stays correct otherwise just uh, undo it and start over and this one isn't that easy to 
tie in. Else everybody would do it. Bad. So it's just a little bit down on one side that we can arrange. did slide so first of all I need to reset them and I might be able to hump them a bit so I'm tying it in the whole way so uh, the steams can't uh, move and now we have that one in position so we just need to play with the, the angle stupid Now we are spot on, as you can see. So, better alignment would be quite hard. So, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna add uh, some varnish, Benny's varnish, and let it dry for a little bit. to make sure it doesn't move later. There we are. So, I'm gonna take a few minutes Maybe 10 minutes before it's ready, so I'm gonna prepare the other steps. Meanwhile, okay, so uh, let's uh, um, add the, the topping because uh, it needs to dry a little bit before I move forward with the sides and uh, the front color. So, I took a quite large topping because I want it to be placed a little bit in front of the wings it doesn't pull down the wing if I manage to do it so let me try this way
it's too long it's way too long so let me take a smaller one just wanted to try it out Just preparing the feather and see how that one will fit. There we know. Looks okay. Except I need to make sure it doesn't press down too much. We are. So we are securing that one, a little bit of varnish, and then it's time for the jungle cook uh, from the side and then uh, the blue feather as a color and the uh, horn in between that. I can find any long enough that should be okay so short break time to continue this fly um, I'll start with the young uh, cook sites and then we do uh, the blue feather on top in this case I'm using pizza instead of shatter prepare that side first and before anything else waxing the thread so this is gonna be added uh, let me just put this one down so I can see what I'm doing Uh, 
and then I'm gonna add the blue immediately on that side. There we are. Time for my side. Same there, backs on the thread. And then it's time for, let me see. I'm gonna put this on up a bit. There we are. And then the blue on this side. So both sides look okay. Same length, everything. So once again, I'm gonna varnish and add the horns. Or maybe I add the horns first. We just have the final steps later. today there's the horn on one side and then adding it on the other side And there we are. 
ones on both sides. So let me then just add varnish. And then the last step later is gonna be to cut everything left over and then the hackle in front. Now you see why I left so much space in front of the, the wing. So, I let that dry for 10 minutes and then we add the front feather. Final step. So, adding the color hackle. So, I'm just gonna tie it in gently. A few wraps with waxed thread. Cutting off everything in the front here. <clears throat> so, let me see how this turns out. Hmm, I should have doubled the hacken before I tied it in, but I didn't. wasn't really good so let me redo that uh, I see that as a learning lesson so double the hackle so I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna have some something large let me see this one is too thick could work let me see if I can brush it out first. Because they, they are a bit thick. Yeah. Because I want to have some length to the fibers as well, not that short. Maybe now it's easier to just put everything backwards instead of doubling it. Waxing the thread as well. A bit more wax. Let's try this one again. So trying the put this in the front, the left over, so to say. <coughs>
so just a few turns of this just to make sure you get nice amount of blue I think I'm gonna use it all actually There we are. So, tying it in. I'm just gonna adjust a few things like the horns and everything that has moved of course due to this uh, kind of strange front tackling. There you are. Britannia So we just gonna cut the leftover steam and the feather I'm gonna wax the thread just a few more wraps and then back uh, and varnish the head times but overall the fly is done so I'm gonna take a good picture later and add to this video so let me just varnish Just a little bit varnish on the, the top of the needle. You don't want it to drop into the feather. That will kind of suck. When you're done, you just need to restart. <laughs> and there we are. So, that's how I do the Britannia um, Salmon fly, uh, my first try, but uh, overall I think it went quite well. Uh, not what I did uh, expect, uh, due to the fact I haven't tied in like two months, and normally I tie three to four times every week. Um, but anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want me to tie even more flies, just you know, subscribe, thumbs up, give me some comments. I'm always replying to everybody. Um, so. Yeah, I need to figure out what to tie tomorrow. My God, if you have a suggestion, just add a comment. Um, see you in the next video, and thanks for watching. Bye.